Hello ladies, I am back with another tutorial. Um, a few weeks ago I got questions about how I wrap um, my extra long t-shirt scarves with using um, a larger shaper. Um, so I'm using three extra long t-shirt scarves today. I have the turquoise, I have the denim blue, that actually looks purple on the screen, but I promise you it's like a, it's, it's more of a blue in real life. It just looks a little purple. And then the magenta. So um, all the products that I'm using are from Rapunzel. This is my Uber Proof, which is the biggest of their um, shapers. I think it's the biggest. I don't know if it's bigger than the uh, Bobo, but it's the biggest one that I have. And um, I use bigger shapers as well as um, um, larger scarves, longer scarves, because not only do I have bigger shapers, but I have a really big head. So I need the material to wrap around my head. So this is how I make it work. For those of you who are asking how I make um, all the material in um, my extra long t-shirt scarves work. So um, I'm going to start with the turquoise first. And I love um, just the tip, just nothing that you have to do. But for me, I try to put the brighter colors closest to my face. Sometimes darker colors, they kind of age me. <laughs> so I try to put the, um, the brighter colors closest to my face. And then I work um, brightest to darkest. And... Um, so as of now, my short side is on my left. I had to think about that. And then we're just gonna cross it. I'm not gonna tie. I don't like to um, to tie my scarves at the nape of my neck. They, some, they usually end up giving me a headache and I'm not someone who's prone to headaches, but usually once I do that, I do end up with a headache. So um, I just, crisscross and I don't tie but if you can handle yours being tied and if you know it's going to give you more security it will but if you're one of those people who can handle it then go for it so I've done that my next color is going to be my magenta I want to make sure that I still have a shorter side, not necessarily short because these are some really long scarves. So it's going to be a shorter side and your extra long side. Get that one through. And then we're just going to crisscross our magenta the same way we did our turquoise. And my mirror is behind the camera, so if you see me looking off, that's why. Just trying to straighten things as I go along so I won't have a lot to fix um, at the very end. And also another preference, just something that I like. It's nothing that you have to do. But I don't like my ears sticking out, so I always tuck them in my scarves, but never the shaper. Um, I find that whenever I tuck them into the shaper, it's just too much. Especially if you're somebody who wears glasses, it all presses down and it starts to hurt. So the last of my scarves is going to be this denim blue. And I'm just going to lay her right on top. And I'm going to crisscross her as well, the same way that I did my magenta and my turquoise. Okay. 
And if you are thinking that is way too much material, you are absolutely right. This is a lot of material, <laughs> a lot, a lot of material, but we're going to make it work and I'm going to show you how. So I've got all of my longer tails on my left. My shorter tails are to my right. I'm going to braid the shorter ones first. And I still have this much material of the shorts. So it's going to be a lot of braiding. <laughs> if you cannot braid, what you want to do is take whatever you have in the middle, whichever color is in the middle, and you're just going to alternate sides. So right now my denim blue is in the middle, and I'm going to bring it over here to this side. My magenta is in the middle, I'm going to bring, bring it to this side. My turquoise is in the middle, I'm going to bring it to this side. And you're just going to alternate sides. And that's how you braid. And yes, I still have a little bit back here dangling. All I have to do is tuck that in. Like I said, this is a really big shaper. So I had to have um, a little extra material to make sure that I covered my shaper the same way that you cover your undergarments. You just got to make sure that you tuck everything in. Don't expose yourself. And we're just going to braid. Once you've braided this all the way down, you are going to leave it for now because this is going to be the second part of your braided uh, bun. Tuck that on in on this side as well. And once again, we're going to braid just with alternate sides. And because this one's so long, we aren't going to necessarily braid this all the way down. I'm going to show you how I um, manipulate the material um, so that I don't have to braid for a solid 12 minutes. So I'm going to braid this side down to about the same length of um, my shorter side when they're about even, give or take a little bit. Um, that's when I will stop braiding so that I can wrap it around my bun. Okay. So here we go, we've got this side and we're gonna bring this on around. Bring the extra material. And we're gonna hide it here just for a moment. Okay. Now we have our shorter side and we're going to pull her behind what we just put down. So you should have a double braid. And we're just gonna tuck her in to the braid, to the first braid that we just looped around our head. And once she's tucked in and she's secure, we know she's not going anywhere, then that's when you're gonna finish braiding. These are the, um, the remainder of your tails from your longer end. And I have seen some people, like, you know, if you have a braided or a twisted tail, I don't know how to do it with a twist, but I know if you have a braided tail and you have some, um, you wanna leave like a little side ponytail or something down, some people have used uh, pins or rubber bands or barrettes or whatever it is that you use to, um, to tie them. And I'm gonna show you how I just knot mine. So I'm gonna take whichever one is longest and I'm going to loop it in to a part of the braid. So you see I have my thumb here in the middle of this braid and we're just gonna create a loop. And it knots and ties and your braid isn't going anywhere, it's secure. That way you don't have to use um, any pins or anything, it's secure, it's been knotted. So this is a double braid I was on Instagram a couple of nights ago and I saw JLo, she had like her hair in a really cute bun 
with um, a double braid. And I was like, Psh, I can do that with some scarves. And so, ta-da, I've got my double braided bun. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching.